Hey guys, Jagged here. Welcome back to episode three, and let's jump in. But there's something about him that bothers me. Like he's not right. one of us. Sometimes right. I suspect he doesn't even want to be here. All right. What, you mean Edgewater? That's a peculiar question. Right, it is a weird this question. Is a test. Am I being tested right now? It's a uh, fine and dandy. Couldn't be happier. Wouldn't want to spend my life working anywhere else. Prettiest little town on Terra 2. Bruh. <laughs> if loving the place I work makes me crazy, then haul me off for mandatory re-education. I don't get paid for banter. Was there something you needed? Let me see what you got, dude. Music to my ears. Okay, merchant skill is equal to the value of your best dialogue skill and is used to negotiate prices. I'm not. I'm usually not a big fan of buying um, items from a vendor, just because I feel like I can often find all the stuff I need. How much money do I? Have? Oh, 101. Okay, I don't have much, anyways. Yeah, I don't really need anything. Oh, I could sell stuff. Don't I have three of these? Oh, oh, I can see him there. I mean, I'll sell. 98 and 100. I'll sell that. Okay. How do I sell it? Oh, e sell. Okay. Um. How's my weight? Or my bag storage, my carrying capacity? I can sell one of these. 98, 100. Let's sell the 98 one. Yeah. Ooh, repair. Work your jaw on some spacer's chaw. Music to my ears. I don't even know if I have to repair anything, but let's do it. Repair all. How do I... Oh, what? Like, 132 to repair that? I feel like that's not... That's not... Is that accurate? Wow. Well, I'm good myself, dude. Um, so, uh, what do you got? Just wondering, what do you got? Um, what do you got in here? Okay, huh? what's in here? What's in here, buddy? <laughs> I know I won't steal them. I actually do love when they put little things inside stores because it makes it it makes you want to try to figure out a way to take it Just because it's kind of a fun little thing in the game um, Another day at the cannery. Okay, Don't so work. At least we've got one. So I'm on two missions right now, right? Character journal And you talk to what is his name? Rob Thompson or something? Reed Thompson. So main quest, okay. Let's do the side ones first. So He's in the barber shop. So barber shop. How the hell am I supposed to find that? So it's the canteen, obviously. Does it say on the door? No. What's up, guys? What's Something going on? You down? Nothing. Just don't want to talk to you. Our place in the universe is fixed. Sure, buddy. Um, one hey of the guys there, I know Mary. is very religious, so. Here too often. Oh, I just came to talk to the vicar is all. None of us are above confessionals. What a week. 
Talking to the good vicar always lifts up my spirits. Um, oh, I wonder if he sells Adreno. Yes, what is it? You're an outsider. Fantastic. Vicar Maximilian de Soto at your service. Or Vicar Max, if you're the sort who prefers brevity. I so rarely get new people to talk to. Name your poison, anything at all. Spiritual counseling, this season's tossball predictions, the quickest way out of town. Giggity. They who are not satisfied with their work are satisfied with nothing. No. How about, um, work fortifies the spirit. True exhaustion awaits idle hands. What would you like to discuss? Mechanical tomfoolery is well out of my purview. I suggest you take such matters to Mr. Thompson in the cannery. Oh, and a word of warning. If you're considering wandering around outside the safety of the town, you'd best be cautious. Marauders are about. Though if you are planning on venturing outside, I do have a proposition that may interest you. One What's of the up, reasons dude? I transferred here was to fulfill my duty in hunting down banned heretical texts. I happen to know such a book is, as we speak, tainting a collector's library in Emerald Vale. However, the collector's residence lies outside I'll, uh, the town's I'll walls. A book for you, dude. My retrieval efforts have been thwarted by marauders who have overrun the property. Should you fare better than me, I'd pay a handsome sum for the book. Okay. So you'll consider it? I do appreciate you hearing me out, and um, your discretion. It's a handwritten journal, a faded blue cover with the name M. Bakonu handwritten in the lower corner. I'll mark where I saw it on your map. Assuming you're serious? I just want to keep the writing out of layman's hands. It wouldn't do for such information to fall into public consumption. Hey man, he's offering me a good sum. It won't hurt me. I'm all for it, dude. <laughs> I would it like to know. It's not only a beautiful relic of a bygone time, it's also the thoughts of an early thinker on the nature of man's place in the cosmos. Not many in this colony could understand its true value. Should they ever Dude, read I'll it? get it for you, man. Thank you. If you retrieve it, you can always find me here. I'm all for it. Okay, um, so I thought for some reason I was gonna see uh, Abernathy in there. Corporate guard. Got my sights on you. Do ya? Good. Um. Okay, so are these Sorry. squares on my map something I need to find? I I was just going store to store. I wasn't actually paying attention on the map. Or are those just shops? Can I go behind here? Hey, dude. No, I sure. Well, I could, but. Um, it's not the best choice. I'm it's gonna see if he has choice. Adreno for sale. Music to my ears. Adreno, okay. Oh my god. Oh, oh, 50 for 9. Okay. Hang on. That's pricey. I mean, I need it. What? Wait, what just happened? 
One is 50? Dude. Uh, damn. I mean, I'll buy one. I feel like this guy. Is ripping me off like crazy. All right, let's go to the healing. Okay. I shouldn't have spammed all those healings at the beginning. Oh, here's a barber shop. We need to go here. And just for just to let everyone know who is watching right now, um, um, I do stream these lives. Obviously, if you're watching me streaming this, you know I'm streaming this live, but I will be uploading these to YouTube um, as a Let's Play series. And so... Um, if you're interested, feel free to toss me a follow. And um, yeah, search me out, Jagged187 on YouTube. I need to talk to Hugh. Please Hugh. don't touch Hugh. anything. Your hands are probably crawling with germs. Physical hygiene recapitulates moral hygiene. Cleanliness is next to lawfulness. He looks like he needs a knuckle sandwich. He'd probably like one of those. We don't believe in free anything here in Edgewater. We're a spacer's choice company. I hate the I'm buzzword Conrad. that we're a spacer's you choice company. If your hair fails to meet spacer's choice aesthetic standards, you will also report to me in the event of your death, whereupon I will clean and prepare your remains for interment. I do not like you, buddy. Ah, gravesite fees. Silas and I had talked about this at length. I thought I'd made it clear my pecuniary situation precludes the necessary restitutions. Pardon? As broke as pie crust, friend. Bitless, indigent, destitute. I simply cannot afford it. I am a blemish on the prosperity of our fair settlement. When I expire, I expect Silas to toss my body into a ditch. You're pretty cocky for being broke buddy hmm thank you no I despise the cereals tell Silas I can't afford to pay and that I fully expect to have my medical rights revoked for this dereliction with my apologies not a bad idea but I'd need some kind of collateral. My pair of lucky clippers. No, that won't do. Your idea intrigues me, but I'm afraid I don't have anything to give Silas. I'm open to suggestions. Hmm. Much obliged. So did I fail the mission? Like, is that something that can happen? Journal. Okay, so if I talk to him what again. What can I do for you? Go ahead. So, uh, ugh, yikes. I hope I didn't fail that quest. I mean, it didn't say I have yet. Maybe I can. What can I do? Recollect from him after a while. So I'm going to repair my ship. A ship? Dear me. You seem to have lost the ability to distinguish between reality and fantasy. This is what happens when you let your imagination run wild. God, this guy is so annoying. I don't approve of fantasizing. It's a dreadful habit, corrosive to the mental faculties. Yes, I hate you. You ought to let the vicar take a look inside your head. Ooh, with some trepanation? Trepanation, that'd be fun. And he allowed you to wander around town spreading your pernicious fantasies about repairing ships? My opinion of him approaches its nadir. He doesn't seem to like us much. The vicar has not been with us long, and in his relatively short tenure in Edgewater, gives off the distinct whiff of superiority. As do you. Go ahead. Edgewater has been good to me. I consider myself privileged to work here. You have no money, dude. I am never wanting for work. Not since the plague started. I mean, that doesn't mean they don't pay you well, but... The plagues come at us with a vengeance this year. Lost six workers in as many months. 
I wouldn't call them good workers, mind you. If they were any good, they'd have been treated. Still, it is a shame. Fever, chills, fatigue, aching, vomiting, an excess of phlegm, a tendency towards belly aching. Company policy, friend. We don't have enough medicine to treat all of us, so we treat the best among us. You're the best, huh? Mr. Thompson's brainchild. Have you met him yet? Thoughtful looking fellow, stares out of his office most hours. Hmm. All right, I just hope I didn't screw up the quest of needing to collect the dues. Because now, now I kind of wish I'm like, I would have collected those dues from him. Because I do not like that human. Um, I guess I might as well go to Thompson right now. Ooh, the Saltuna cannery. What's in here? Use terminal? Handguns, body counts. Uh, I don't really care. Okay, excuse me. Um, I'm scared. I don't know what that's gonna do. I'm gonna leave that alone for right now. Monkey, Argo. I'm sorry. Just... Seems we've got a guest. We do. Right now, Parvati, I do wish you'd spoken up. I do apologize. I was given no forewarning of your arrival, or I might have welcomed you at the gates myself. I'm Reed Thompson, outpost administrator. I cannot help but notice you are not in uniform. That's correct. Yes, so it dawns on me. Seems I allowed my excitement to run away with my wits. Been a few seasons since we've had a visitor pass through. Only regulator we got is hooked up to the town transformer. Mr. Thompson ain't liable to be keen on dismantling it. I beg your pardon. I am most emphatically not keen on any such thing. I can't let you have our power, regulator. But... I happen to know of another one, and I happen to know exactly how you may retrieve it without oh, frying snap. yourself in the process. Oh, snap. There's a power regulator in the old botanical lab. It's mostly abandoned, so all that power is being squandered. Go down to the geothermal plant, reroute power from the botanical district over to us. Once their power is shut down, you can have their regulator and be along on your way. Right? Mostly abandoned? What are you referring to? I was not entirely sure how to tell you this. The botanical labs are not legally inhabited, but there are people who mm. live there. Some squatters, huh? I actually don't know what marauders are, so I'm gonna go and say this, even though I mean it's kind of a the people living in the botanical labs. They're deserters, former workers. I need them back at their posts. I need them to come home. Hedgewater is struggling. We haven't hit our production quota in years. If we don't meet our quotas this year, the company might shut us down for good. I need those workers back so at their stations. slave laborers, huh, brah? Right? Neither do I. The fault was entirely mine. I pushed them too hard. Well, yeah, it sounds like it, dude. My hope is that by cutting off their power, you will convince those deserters to come back to dude. town. Before you go to the plant, I want you to stop by the botanical lab. Speak to their leader, Adelaide. Tell her the power's about to go. And that it's time her band of deserters came back to town. I can't quite do that, guys, unfortunately. I'm gonna go there and chat with her. Hopefully I don't have to do that. Of course, I understand completely. 
Here, let me give you the passcode to the geothermal plant. A sign of good faith for so politely listening to me as I ramble on. Are you setting off for the Vale? Because I know my way around. I, I mean, in case you want a guide. I mean, if that's all right with you, Mr. Thompson. Sir. I hesitate to part ways with Miss Holcomb, but I cannot deny that she is talented and may prove useful. And um, it's as it's none of your business what she does, so... I mean, I guess. Great! I got my wrenches and diagnosticators and hairpins and engine tape, so I'm all set. Oh, I wonder well, if she's I one of my companions that. that I get. Best of luck to you, and thank you again for your help. It is a lot to ask of a stranger, I know. Yep. Um, I'm not gonna lie. So there is a perk, obviously, to do this, the lone wolf with more damage. I'm kind of wondering if that's what I want to be doing. Um, now that I have a companion, though, I do wonder if I can like send her back here or like have her not be my companion. Um, I'm good right now having her do that with me, but um, just in the future, I might want to just do it solo, to be honest. Be right back, guys. Need a little snackaroo. I might have to get a coffee soon. Okay. Um. Reed's key, huh? Let's boogie. What's up? We better clear out of Mr. Thompson's office before we talk. Mister, can we talk? Of Sorry. course. Can we talk? Sorry. I... You just want to get out of here. And you likely don't want to tag along like me. It's just... Mr. Thompson has his own view on matters. On account of it's his job and, and what all. But that's not the only side of the tale. Oh, he ain't a liar. He believes every word he says. <laughs> it's just, he doesn't always get where other folk are talking from. To Mr. Thompson, a person's a gear. It does its job quiet-like. If it squeaks or stutters, it gets replaced. The deserters are decent folk. I knew some of them before they left. Life's hard here. Especially for them that don't fit in so well. We're one big Spacer's Choice family, but... I Every hate the Spacer's the Choice thing. It's so annoying. Not. Mr. Thompson's aiming to take away their power. They'll have no lights to see, nor heat to cook. They'll be at the mercy of marauders, or worse. I think you should talk to the town's vicar about it. Max, his name is. Books are oh, rich whoops. folk. I didn't mean to say that, actually. I wonder what he wants with something like that. Whoops. About if what Mr. Thompson proposes to do is upright. Leaving Miss McDevitt's folk to their fate. Their neighbors. Of course not. It's not yeah. ethical, dude. And maybe he can think of something else to try. Something we ain't. He used to go walking outside town. Maybe he found something that'll help. That's true. It's just an idea. That's all. I'm up for it. Thanks, mister. I just think when you gotta make a decision that'll hurt somebody... It's best to think on the right and wrong of it. That's what my dad used to say anyways. Heard that. Um. Okay, what's up? Hey. Where am I? Got my sights on you.
Do I need these heights? Maybe I do. It's down here. Oh shh. Okay, so assuming they are red. Actually, I don't need those, but if they're red, I'm assuming that I will get caught, or that it's just... Because in some games, when you steal and the item is red, it means they will know. But... No one's down here, except her. I also need to find, um... I could shoot that. All the people that that um, Silas needs to collect his dues from. Mm. Probably wouldn't be good. Because that's the one that's powering this whole town, right? Guys, what happens if I shoot that? Hmm. Nothing. Sorry, yo. Okay. Wow. So, this power regulator, excuse me, I'm assuming is for this entire town, right? That's what's providing energy to this town. Hmm. I mean, I don't want to screw over everyone in this town, so we don't want to do that. Oh, I'm like, what? <laughs> I'm just eating. I just had my hand on the wrong key. Parvati. Any other goodies in here? Vending machine? Where? <laughs> Guys, let's try to steal this. I just want to see what it does and if there's any consequences. Okay. Nothing. Maybe if you steal enough? Um... Then, then they notice? Oh. Crap. That was my bad. We got that. Team, we got that. Oh. Like, why wouldn't I take that? Okay. Hmm, <laughs> okay. So, nothing is really worth that much.
Hey, bud. Hey, bud. So I'm assuming he can't be in line of sight. Nice. Well, now, well, psh, now that we know that, this guy's a dick, anyways. Ooh, guys, what was that axe we just got? Oh. 60 deeps, huh? Six. Hmm. I'm... Hmm, that's an interesting weapon. I don't really know. The DPS isn't that good. Okay, um, let's get out of here, guys. Hey, bro. Ooh, well, after we see what's going on here. Personal files. Hack? I was successful. Peak Ranger. Wait, Reed, is that Silas Reed? Theodore Reed asked me not to report his death in our quartiles. Wait, what? Theodore's, but Reed asked me not to report his death. Wait, or is it Conrad Reed? I don't remember those names. I don't remember the names. Billis Granger. God, medical privileges are merit based. Oh, so bad. I need to go in there today. Okay. Um, that's to Botanical Lab. That's to Vicar. Oh, well, they're both there, so. I do still need to go and find um, all those people. Transition to Emerald Vale region. Uh... You go talk to Vicar first, and I also might go find the, those other people. I've always felt weird in here. It's too clean. <laughs> Any progress on that matter we discussed? Ah, Miss Holcomb. How rare to see you out. And with a complete stranger. Curious. This here's Vicar de Soto. He's always offering spiritual counsel to those that need it. Thank you for the kind assessment, Miss Holcomb. I admit, I've been quite interested to make our outsider's acquaintance. <laughs> That's the only thing. Please get it. What would you like to discuss? Oh. Here's a drop the pretzel. But what? I, I thought you would talk to him. 
You wanted to speak to me, Ms. Holcomb? Every time I've tried to engage you in conversation, you look at the floor, answer in single Whoops. words, and slink away. I thought that was right. I can't imagine what would be so grave as to drive her to my mission. What has Mr. Thompson asked you to do? Depriving them of safety from the marauders and wildlife. Exactly. I can see why that troubles you. Miss Holcomb has a soft heart. Always has, if you believe the talk. They rejected the order of society and live beyond the walls so thoughtfully provided by our Spacer's Choice patrons. Does that strike you as a responsible life choice? Oh, I can't do that. Bummer. No, I'm not. Assuming your goal is to save as many as possible, then you should bring everyone together. Send the power to Edgewater and convince the deserters to return to the fold. If it were as easy as a few soothing words in the right ears, I'm sure it would have been done already. Well, obviously. Consider it a challenge. Not to put too fine a point on it, but your choice of wardrobe is not precisely common hereabouts. Also, you lack the distinctive worker gaze. Usually either a deadening behind the eyes, or in some rare cases, a wild-eyed frenzy, <laughs> like a trapped animal. Pretty universal here. That's Except terrible. Holcomb, who, for some reason, doesn't seem to have much to say to me. Isn't that right? It's just... There's more to it all than numbers. Sorry. Hold on here. I'm simply bemoaning the level of spiritual awareness in this town. Mm. <laughs> yes, but there are few who hear me in this miserable place. I must double my efforts to elevate my flock. These are good, hard-working people here. Yes, and thank you for pointing it out. It is wrong of me to succumb to distress. This place could be so much more, right. and I will continue in my quest to make it so. Move the level up, guys! Team! Alright, I, I do understand we've had a lot of dialogue here. But, before we leave here... Excuse me. Um, well, I would like to... Oh, duh, Reed Thompson. Derp. Um. Okay. Edgewater Cannery. Let's go there. Um. Wait, weren't we just there? Let's double check. No, we weren't just there. Or maybe we were, but... I... Let me just take a quick look of where these guys all are in case I stumble upon. So, Abernathy... At, at his house. Cannery. Okay. Let me find the cannery. I'm pretty sure we were already there. There's the barber. That's the, oh, the cantina. At least we've got work. Okay. That's Phyllis, right? Oh, it's it's Abernathy. Well, uh, did, uh, 